Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandini and I'm an undergraduate student studying journalism and dramatic literature at New York University. Throughout the different years of my education, I have experimented with a lot of different productivity hacks and study techniques and habits that will be successful and sustainable in the long term and help me become a better student. And this is the video where I will be sharing some of them with you guys to hopefully help you as well. Now, this is a tip that you've probably heard from a gazillion different productivity YouTubers and that's because it actually works. Creating a schedule makes sure that you live up to all your deadlines, you meet all of them and leave out space for doing other things in your life like exercising and chilling and hanging out with friends and so many other activities that you might want to spend your time doing without freaking out or stressing out all the time. It significantly reduces your stress levels and ensures that you live a balanced life Life without pulling all-nighters all the time. I have made a couple of videos in the past in which I talk about exactly how I write down my schedule so feel free to check them out if you need more assistance. Just remember that there is no perfect way to create a schedule. There is no perfect schedule either. It can be done using Notion, Google Calendar, sticky notes, a planner or even a combination of all of these things. Just remember to write down all your deadlines and plan ahead so that you give yourself enough time to meet up to all of them. Having a good settled morning routine is so important to give your day a good, fruitful, productive start. If you wake up with all your thoughts mushy, check your phone first thing in the morning, or you barely are able to scramble to work or class, then that's definitely going to affect how the rest of your day flows. Spend some time getting ready, exercising, journaling, reading, having breakfast, or anything that makes you feel settled and prepared to take on the day. Just remember that morning routines differ from person to person just like any other form of routine in your day and it's okay to experiment and change things as you see fit. This is something that I totally did not follow during high school and just recently started doing during university and it has completely changed the game for me. It could be on the weekends or it could be any time that fits your schedule but please in a week try and take a day or a couple of hours off work. This is the time that you can spend exploring the city. If you're new to a city or want to explore different parts, you can spend it with friends, you can exercise, you can do so many different things that will keep you sane, that will keep you alert and fresh and keep your mind off work. Now, don't get me wrong, I love being a student, I love my classes, but I also understand that it's equally important to give myself the breaks that I need because then I can return to my studies all fresh, alert and charged. Taking breaks actually boosts your productivity and you're just more engaged with the work that you do. This is gonna sound super stressful, but if you can fit it in your schedule in a particular semester or anything like that, try and have a side hustle or a side project that actually relates to your interests. It could be anything like joining a newspaper or any other club on campus, or it could be doing your own thing like running a YouTube channel. Practically speaking, activities like these really boost your resume, but they also add fun into your life, especially if you like what you're doing and they give you a lot of hands-on experience. Plus, this is a great way to make some friends on campus, especially if you're a part of a club or doing a group project or something like that. And there's always, always a learning curve. Work can be fun and that's not the kind of fun I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the kind of fun where you like go out, you hang out with friends, you chill, etc. Always remember that when you're working, you're always just supposed to be working. Get rid of your phone and any other distractions that you know you have and just focus on the task at hand and then you can reward yourself later with activities like going out or doing your own side projects and stuff like that. When you have a lot of work piling up, it's so important, it's so crucial to learn how to prioritize. Start by doing the most important things first and go step by step and then move on to the next task. Mm -hmm.